Mark about to build with the boys. We now have issue 80 of Hachette's Build Titanic to finish out the month. Uh, again, this is a repeat of stage 79 where we added more hull. Um, so not loads to do, but uh, we're using our free screwdriver this time. And also, um, it's going to look good. It's going to look good because this thing is growing massively now. Um, and I'm still blown away by the fact we're probably not even halfway through the hull, but it looks huge. Starting to dawn on me just how big this thing is going to be. Now, what is coming up next month? Well, we're moving away from the hull next month, and we will be moving on to the forward section of bridge deck, closed and hull decking and screws. So we're going on the, the promenade deck in next month as well, along with the bridge deck. And this is what you'll be getting. So you can see that's what comes in 81. But before we get to that, let's build this one. Now, at the end of this one, we'll be talking about a dog that was on the uh, the Titanic. Well, two dogs that were on the Titanic. Um, because there were, it wasn't just people on the Titanic, there were dogs as well. Um, and we'll talk about two in particular. Um, what they were, whose they were, why they were there, what happened to them. Um, but without further ado, let's get this one open. Let's get this one built. If you haven't yet, please be to like and subscribe. But let's get this done. Okay, so this is the section we're working on. Uh, taking our new hull piece here, as you can see. I flip this one over, and um, there's always the wiggle and move here to get this one in. So we're going to go under those and over there. Once it goes, it goes, but it's always a bit of a it's always a bit of a nuisance getting this, these ones in. Come on. Come on, you are gonna go. You may not want to, but you are. <laughs> I'm making a right meal of this. There we go, there we go, right, locked in. See, it's the wiggle move. Um, right, so we're gonna put these in, I'm, again, I'm gonna go do it sans washer and see if uh, see if we can get away with not using the washers. Um, and there we go. There's the first screw dropped into the oil. <laughs> oh, bloody Allen bolts. I hate them. I absolutely despise them. All right. Let's try again. Let's get our first one in. Get this one in here. Okay, so there's one. What's that one in? This one there goes, second one in. And so it makes it so much easier for this. It's that bloody Allen key. There we go. It's two. It's one on the end here. I always like when you fit it tight enough, when you fit it firm up. It's always reassuring when it comes to any model, you fit it pulled together and you can definitely fill that with ease. have one more to put in and then this one is in the books so I'll be this one here now I don't know if the, I don't know if the uh, microphone's picking that up but the world's biggest moth has managed to trap itself inside my light shade uh, because it is very very hot in the UK at the moment so all the windows are open and the moths are attracted to the light but the one thing I've always wondered what did moths bump into before there were light bulbs? Do you know what I mean? Because it couldn't be fire or those have gone extinct. So the only thing I can think of is millions of moths set off for the sun hundreds of thousands of years ago. The one at the front going, trust me guys, it's going to be worth it. 
there we are. So that's that one done. Let's flip this one over and take a look at it. One done. Um, and yeah, we now have a serious chunk of hull. So that's how we're now looking on that side. And look at this now. Come on. Uh, we do need a massive piece of keel, don't we? That's what we're missing. We need a humongous piece of keel to, um, yeah, we need keel. That's what we need. Definitely keel. Now, I have noticed the two very large holes here and here. I believe that's going to be for the stand. I believe this is, you can stand this on there. I hope that's what that's for. I'm sure that's what that's for. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> because we don't know at this point. Uh, but that is the hole I think we've all been chomping at the bit for for quite a while now. And this is only about halfway. Um, so we, we're going to be going a lot longer with this. So now the reality of just how big a model we're building should start kicking in. But uh, what a beautiful thing. Um, so that is all for this one. If you are just sticking around for build instructions, thank you for stopping by. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Um, and we always appreciate your support. Really do. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps the channel massively. If you stick around for our Titanic talk, we are talking about dogs of the Titanic. Uh, now, there were lots of famous dogs on the Titanic. There were two famous dogs in particular. There's this one. Kitty, and that was uh, Jacob Ast James Jacob Astor's um, Airedale. Uh, but we'll be talking about that another day. It's not the one we're talking about. Uh, the other famous dog was a famous uh, Frenchie, and it was this one. World champion French Bulldog. But we're not talking about that one either. Um, the one we're talking about, we don't even have a picture of, uh, sadly. Um, it belonged to Anne Elizabeth Isham, and she joined Titanic in Cherbourg. Uh, with her beloved Great Dane. Big dog. Uh, there were 12 dogs on board the Titanic that we know of. It's believed there were more, but registered dogs of the Titanic, there were 12. Of those 12 dogs, three of them survived. Now, what I can tell you is, of the three dogs that survived, none of them were in kennels. So the three dogs that survived were all first-class dogs, um, and they um, they were not in kennels. They were small as well. They were There was two Pomeranians... I want to say a chow chow were the only three, I think, were the only three that survived and they went into lifeboats and they were kind of hidden. No one was blatantly taking the dog on a lifeboat. And that brings us to Elizabeth Ann Isham. Um, she loved her Great Dane. So when it came, she was first class passenger, when it came time to board uh, a lifeboat, she refused because they wouldn't allow her to take the dog, which is understandable. I mean, a Great Dane is a sizable dog. I mean, a Great Dane is the size of a small person in a lot of cases. So they told her quite simply, no, that you're not bringing the dog. So she refused to get on the lifeboat. Um, as a result of that, she does sadly own um, a fairly um, uh, fairly ominous record. And she is one of only four um, first-class female passengers that died on Titanic. Um, because she wasn't going to leave her dog. She wasn't going to do it, wasn't going to leave her dog. Um, sadly, uh, they found her, that she was recovered from the water, and when they found her, um, she had her arms wrapped around her Great Dane. So she stayed with her dog, and her dog stayed with her all the way to the end, and they sadly died together. It's, it's a horrible story, but at the same time, it's, I think there is some beauty in that, um, in the she loved that dog. The dog was her life and they stayed together and she stayed by its side and that's how they found them. They, they found her with her arms wrapped around the dog when they pulled her from the water. She was still with the dog. Um, there's a lot of dog lovers in the world, but I mean, wow, that's, you know, that's that's some next level stuff. We will talk about the other dogs of the Titanic because we're definitely talking about Kitty the Airedale and we will talk about the Frenchie as well and we will talk about some of the other ones because what's never shown in the movies is the dogs just loose on deck and a lot of survivors mention the dogs they say that the the chaos there were dogs just zipping around the deck the dogs have gone mad so somebody else obviously opened the kennels and just let the dogs out um giving them a chance i suppose but the dogs were just loose so they said there were a lot of dogs which is why they believe there's more than 12 just pelting around on deck so you've got that chaos anyway you've just got dozens of dogs running around all over the place um, but it's, you never see that in movies. They never they never show the dogs in movies, but they were there. Um, and this is the thing that, that's, that's strangely been omitted. Um, and people have always been dog lovers, uh, now more than ever. Um, but it's um, it it goes to show that you know when people love their dog, they really love their dog. And and she did. She stayed by a great Dane's side. And it's sad, I know, but it's there is some beauty in it. 
that is all for this one. Sorry to bum you out on the last story of the month, but it's a story that needs to be told. All these stories need to be told about what people did because people acted in different ways, you know, and she loved a dog. She wants to stay with a dog. Um, we have got lots coming up on the channel, and I do mean lots. So I'm I'm currently in catch up mode because Titanic was late, so I'm I'm, I'm in ridiculous catch up mode at the moment. So we have Infinite Gauntlet is coming up on the channel, um, along with uh, Optimus Prime. Yes, you heard that right, Optimus Prime. Um, I've got a very remarkable book nook, and I have got early access to two models. So I have got two models arriving with me that will be going up on the channel that haven't been released yet. Oh, exciting! But more about that when we get them. Um, I do want to say a big shout out and hello to Trudy, Trudy Price. Um, thank you for emails, Trudy. They always make me smile when they come through. It's so nice to hear you're enjoying your Titanic build. And um, yeah, it, it's great to hear about your progress. It really is. Always makes me smile when I see your emails. Um, so big hello to Trudy. Thanks for watching, Trudy, and thank you for supporting the channel. Um, that's all from me. In a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, thanks for watching, and we will be back very, very soon. For more from Bill Miller Boys, I will see you then.